Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and thank you so, so much for tuning in today. So today I'm actually gonna be doing a different kind of video for you guys. No, it is not a try on haul. I'm actually gonna be bringing you on a little day in my life kind of video today, show you guys what I'm up to. I do have a project I'm currently working on that I would love to share with you guys and seeing as it is the new year, I'm trying to incorporate some different kind of videos into my channel. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Pour us always, let me know in the comments down below if you like content like this, if you'd like to see more, if you have any suggestions on other things that you guys would like to see. Also, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet and you like content like this, also if you like leggings, try on hauls, amongst other types of active wear, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me right now. It really does truly help grow my channel. And also if you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button for me as I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And also drop a comment as always. I love interacting with you guys and having you guys get to know me a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast, get some coffee, of course, your girl needs coffee to freaking function. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. and. And then I'm gonna bring you guys along on what I'm doing and share with you guys what I do outside of making videos on YouTube of me trying on leggings. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <coughs> Gunner, of course, has something to say too, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Ta-da! All right, so this is what we are currently working with. So I own and manage multiple short-term rentals. This is my newest one that I am currently working on getting up and going. So I'm gonna take you guys through the process, show you around the place, of course, show you what I purchased and just my process of getting everything up and going. My goal with this property is to have this up and posted on platforms within the next week. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. You guys are gonna see that in just a second. So I'm gonna just show you the process of how I manage everything from purchasing all my items, getting them all situated, and getting this thing ready to go for future guests. So let me go ahead and show you guys around. So first off, I brought this over. My cup had a little bit of a mishap in the washer. I was lazy one evening and I threw it in. This is supposed to be my Christmas cup. And yeah, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna have to peel off the rest of the decals and just make it a regular cup and not a Christmas cup. That was a mistake on my part. Shouldn't have done it. It is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour here, show you around, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that we purchased and kind of go over everything in just a little bit of detail. I don't wanna bore you obviously too much, but let me go ahead and turn this thing around. So you can already see it's a little bit dark in here because I need to put up my lamps that I purchased. So don't mind the darkness. I promise it's not gonna be this dark. We got the front door, we walk in, we are here in the kitchen area. There's not a lot of area for a kitchen table because it is a small unit. It's a two bedroom, one bath. Don't mind all my boxes. We got we got a lot of stuff to unpack. So of course, just all the general kitchen wear that anybody may need. We got our living room here. We got a few windows that way, you know, we got some we got some light in here. We got another window back here. And I actually just got done purchasing all the window coverings that I'm going to need for this property because obviously nobody wants to be in here when everybody can see in through the windows. So got those on order. We got our wonderful couch of which I need to get that thing unwrapped. Television, television stand. Got this mirror. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it. I almost think I wanna put it right here when you walk in the door. That way, when you're walking in and out, you can check yourself out. I know we all like to do that when we're trying to leave the house. Go ahead and move on to the bedroom. So this is bedroom number one, right off the living room. I am not really sure what I wanna do about this wall yet. It's nice because you have this little closet area here, but then it kind of cuts into the bedroom of which you can see there's not a whole lot of room for the bed because of that. So I'm considering knocking this wall out, but I'm also debating because sometimes people do like to have a closet. So if we move on this way, we've got our bathroom. Hello, so just a basic bathroom, you know, just getting everything up and going in here. All right, so now we're coming back to the kitchen. We got this kind of hanging up your jackets and putting your boots kind of area. So we got a couple closets here. And actually, if I show you through this window, that is another unit here on the property. Currently, we have long-term tenants in there, but once they end up ending their lease, we're gonna turn that into a short-term rental as well. When we bought the property, they're already there. So cute little log cabin. I'm really excited to get that one up and going. 
And bedroom number two, sorry, the lighting's kind of terrible in here, but not very big. Then we got a closet over on this wall behind here. So that is the grand tour of this place. It's really cute. I feel like it's gonna be really cozy for people when they come to visit here in Alaska. So what I think I'm gonna end up doing today is getting this guy unwrapped and get that situated. I'm trying to figure out what wall I want to put it on. And then obviously the television's going to be on the opposite wall because everybody needs a TV and a rental. That's just what people do. So I'll go ahead and wrap that with you guys, show you that. and just talk to you a little bit about Airbnb experiences, Airbnb, Verbo. We basically use all the platforms. So chit chat with you guys for a little bit while I get this thing popped open. So I just realized I don't have scissors in here yet. So we're using a kitchen knife to get this thing up and going. So basically when you're getting any type of short-term rental up and going, you know, stocking it is one of the main things you really want to focus on because when you have guests and obviously they're away from home, they book a short-term rental versus a hotel because they want amenities, right? They don't just want a bed and a microwave and a mini fridge and a bathroom. They want their home away from home. So you really have to think, what do I want to put in these rentals? Not just something that I would like myself, but what is the general person like to have? What are the basic amenities that are necessary to make people feel comfortable to not only want to stay in your rental versus everybody else's, but also to have returning guests. You know, we love when we have returning guests because that obviously means that, well, they like what we have to offer. But also I really enjoy taking care of people and making them feel comfortable in the homes that I have trying not to stab the couch here. So being a little careful as I go about this. They wrap this thing in like three different layers. I mean, I guess that's good for, <laughs> for keeping it clean, but man, this is a task. So here she is. I'll show you guys a little close up here. So here we are. One of the main things that people always want when they do stay at your place is comfortable freaking furniture. If there's one thing that I have learned, it's to make sure that your guests are obviously comfortable. So here we are. I found this couch in a store recently and I fell in love with it. So I ended up getting this. I feel like it's perfect for the space. <laughs> a little bit of a backstory on this couch. And let me know if this has ever happened to you guys too. So this was not the original couch that was going to be in this unit. What ended up happening is a family friend was like, oh, hey, I heard you just recently bought a place and I know you need to furnish it. I have some couches as you can buy off me that would probably be perfect for your unit. I hardly even used them. I'm looking to get rid of them so you can just buy them off me. And I was like, sure, you know, I've seen a couple photos and I bought them and I brought them here and I absolutely hated how they fit in the space. And so currently they're in my garage. I ended up finding somebody to purchase them now off of me, but let me show you the couches in question. So here we are, don't mind my garage here, but here we are with the couches. I don't know if you can see the details here, but I just, I did not like the colors or the fabric or the fact that I have a split seat. I know that recliners are comfortable, but I am not a split seat kind of couch person. I mean, me personally, I like to like lay down on my couch, chill, be comfy. And of course you can do that with a recliner, but I really like the fact of actually like having my couch as a couch so I got this one it is a full three-seater couch and I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this wall here and have the TV here because this wall is not long enough to put it on and I don't think I went on that wall because then I can't really put the TV in an appropriate place so at least if I have it there this wall is big enough for the TV so I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do I do have this rug that I have here that's kind of matches the couch and then I got some blue drapes to go ahead and match that too so yeah that is what I have been up to I'm really excited to show you guys the progress on this place and just give you guys other content that is more than just obviously try on haul so this is what I do among other many things <laughs> that I do when I'm not filming other types of content for YouTube. So let me know if you guys would love to see more of me getting this place up and going and the final product once it is all done, which like I said, it should be in about a week. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content, if you'd want more chit chat with me, more get to know me, more of what I do in my daily life when I'm not furnishing rentals or trying on leggings. All right, next step in my day, which I'm sure you all could have guessed, 
this one, my precious gym time. So I do make it to the gym my five days a week. Today is a pull day, so we are working on some back and some biceps. I typically like to start my pull days with some lat pull downs. They're just my go-to when I first get there, really get the muscles working. Ooh, look at them biceps. Okay, so now that we're in 2024, let's talk about some goals. So we have our obviously our regular goals, we have our gym goals. So I'm just gonna go over gym goals here. My number one gym goal slash I guess life goal actually would be to definitely drink more water. I tend to just go about my day and yes, I'm drinking coffee. Of course, I love my coffee, but I definitely need to up my water consumption. So that's gonna be my top priority. Along with, you know, if I go back to gym goals, just general strength training, gaining more strength, really pushing myself in the gym. I love moving my body feeling my muscles contract. And when I leave the gym and I just feeling pumped, it is just one of the best feelings. Guys, if you are not in the gym yet, you should make that one of your 2024 goals. Even if it's only a few days a week, even if you're only just walking on a treadmill, you know, make sure you're always moving your body. Let's be healthy guys. And if getting in the gym is one of your 2024 goals, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. That way I can be here rooting for you too. All right, guys, last part of the video here. This is what I'm going to be doing for the ending of my day, getting this tree down. So a little backstory about this tree, actually, if you guys hadn't noticed already. So I had a tree that I had before this one that I've been using for many years, but this year I wanted a new tree. My other one, although it's beautiful, a lot of the, the needles here would just fall all the time on the floor and I was continuously vacuuming. So this year I was like, you know what? I am done with this. I'm getting a new tree. So I waited it out till I think it was like the middle of this month, which we were moving anyways and unpacking bunch of boxes so it actually worked out because I hadn't even put a brother tree yet and I got this thing for like 80% off so I believe I only paid a hundred bucks for this tree which for a nine foot pre-lit tree is a freaking steal so just a heads up if you guys are in the market for a new tree wait it out or maybe even look around right now since it's just after January but they may have got rid of their stock already so just a heads up on that but you know today is January 2nd when I'm filming this and it's time for this guy to come down so if you guys have been watching watching my previous videos, you'll know that I just moved into this house. So I am still getting it furnished with new furniture that actually fits the house. So in this spot here is actually just gonna be a couple accent chairs to just add to the home. I don't really want anything large here, just something small to fill the space. So you guys will be seeing that up and coming, I swear. I put these little hooks on here, but they just do not want to come off sometimes. So this is gonna be the rest of my day. As you can see, my kids made these little doodads here. I got them some crafts to do to add onto the tree. So that is what this tree consists of. Done done with the tree. I'm just gonna go ahead and make dinner and that's gonna be how I'm ending my day. On the menu for dinner tonight, typical gym girl dinner. <laughs> Chicken, rice, and a think we have some cucumber to add to it. I believe that's what we got in the fridge is some cucumber, either that or some zucchini. Figured I'd just go ahead and end this vlog, chit chat with you guys a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today on just kind of what I was up to, chit chatting with me for a little bit, getting to know me just a little bit better. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like content like this or if you'd like to see more of what I do besides just try on leggings for every single video. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a poll actually probably this evening. So when you guys see this video, it will already be up. I want to know what other type of content you guys want to see from me. It being the new year, I would love to put out way more for you guys. I would so appreciate it if you could go and do that poll for me. Just let me know. You don't even have to comment. Just go do the poll. That way I have a little bit more insight onto what you guys like to see. Also... Got a package in the mail today, so I have some new content for you guys. It is only one set, so I'm just gonna do a short on this one. So be on the lookout for that. I haven't been posting very many shorts lately, but I am going to start doing more. I'm really excited for this set. It is super cute, and it's a brand I've never tried before, so this is gonna be new to me. So be sure to go ahead and check that out and let me know what you think about it. Until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this tree and get dinner going and get ready for my day tomorrow. And if you had not hit the subscribe button yet and you wanna go ahead and support me, I would really appreciate it if you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to doing new content with you guys. Also, make sure to give me a like on this video if you liked it. And of course, like I said, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part was and also let me know what other future content you would like to see. And until the next video, bye.